Surrounded by the fertile fields of Fresno, California, is Woodward Park. Anybody who's anybody in like long distance or cross country running in California runs the state meet here. This is Molly Frell's training ground. Kind of get in like this zony type trance. That's like the faster I run, the sooner I get to stop. Her dog Buster wishes she would stop. Come here, Buster. But she can't because she's on her way to fulfill a lifelong goal. It was crazy to me. A lifelong goal to run with the best. My husband was standing on the corner and I could hear him. I, I heard him yelling at me and he's going, he's like, you're gonna do it. You know, he's just screaming at me. On December 23rd, Molly made history at the Sacramento International Marathon. Turned the corner, I saw the time clock. I'm like, I, I'm gonna do it. Her time of two hours, 43 minutes and 57 seconds landed her a spot on the 2020 Olympic marathon trials. A time that would not normally be historic had it not been for Molly's age. So I don't really see myself as being 50 and it being like this great feat. Molly can downplay it all she wants, but now she is the second oldest woman in the United States to qualify for the Olympic trials. The last time a woman in her 50s qualified was in 1984. But I'm on an upward, I'm on an upward roll. I'm doing good now. This will be Molly's third time qualifying for the Olympic trials, and each time was a struggle to overcome injuries that have plagued her since her high school years. I had a stress fracture in my pelvis. Then I got him in my feet. But every time those injuries came back, Molly fought through. What do you think it is that's made you able to, you know, keep up this pace all your life? Um, I think, I, you know, I think actually being injured for as long as I was um, actually gave me a little longer shelf life. <laughs> Molly is in this sport for the long run, but the long run to her doesn't necessarily mean the Olympics. T to Tokyo? <laughs> That'd be a long flight. Before she goes on a trip of that magnitude, she may have to consult with her running partner. Sorry, we dictates where I run. <laughs> In Fresno, John Bartell, ABC 10 News.